Channel 8's Robert Riggs joins us now live from our Austin newsroom with more. Robert? Well, Gloria and Richards tried to refocus the questions that are damaging her campaign onto the honesty of her two opponents, Attorney General Jim Maddox and former Governor Mark White. Maddox has said not answering the drug use question could bring down the Democratic Party. Well, Richards came out swinging in an attack against Maddox and White's integrity. I've been sober for 10 years. Have Jim Maddox and Mark White been honest for 10 years? Ann Richards still refuses to give a yes or no answer to the question of whether she ever used illegal drugs. Richards, a recovering alcoholic, says she has not had a mood-altering chemical for a decade. If elected governor, she would be the official responsible for leading the drug Indeed war. Indeed, I would. What do you say to people, though, that are left with the impression that by declining to answer this question, yes or no, you're, you're in effect taking the fifth or against self-incrimination? I have uh, seen any number of young people in programs in which I participate. I think that my experience in my hospitalization gives me far greater insight than any person would have in the problems that people face in their own families with alcoholism and drug addiction, and I think it prepares me very well. Uh, I feel really fortunate, truthfully, uh, that there was a treatment program for my disease. I wish there were a treatment program for meanness, and then maybe Maddox could get well. Richard says the drug question was never raised until she got in the way of, quote, these boys who wanted to be governor. She counterattacked the ethics of her opponent, Attorney General Jim Maddox. I think that it is time that we have an explanation from Jim Maddox about why he will not release his income tax. I think it is time that we have an explanation from him why it is that he can take such large gifts and large contributions and whether or not that affects his performance as the Attorney General of the state of Texas. Richards also questioned the integrity of her other chief opponent, former Governor Mark White, asking how can a former public servant afford a million dollar home in Houston and questioning whether he enriched himself while in office. Well, Richard says there are limits to what a human being should disclose about their personal life. Responding to an indirect question about drug use, Richard says she has not knowingly committed a felony. Richard says applicants for state troopers should not be excluded from hiring if they have used illegal drugs. Well, both the Maddox and White campaign say Richard's allegations are a desperate act to cover up why she can't answer the illegal drug use question. Gloria? Robert, do you think that Richard's campaign is sliding because of this uh, drug use controversy? I've talked to some of the people that are out in the counties running the campaign that are on the steering committees. They think it is sliding. They say the problem is it appears Ann Richards is not being straightforward. Tracy. Okay. Thank you, Robert.